update now on the situation at Centennial High School yesterday. CCSD police say that a student was hospitalized after getting into a fight. The high school is right near Centennial Parkway and Wallapai. And school police say that two boys were fighting in a bathroom. The second boy was arrested and is now facing charges of causing substantial bodily harm and battery. Now remember, students and parents can always report any sus suspicious activity or behavior to the Safe Voice Nevada app, school administrators or police. That app is free on any smartphone. Well, for the first time in Nevada, Las Vegas businesses have the green light to open marijuana consumption lounges. But you'll have to go to the right place to find a lounge. And 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey is live near Sahara and Las Vegas Boulevard, where one business right now is looking to expand, Sean. Trisha Todd, the owners of Sahara Wellness, say that they are lucky enough to be far away from casinos, schools, and churches, all the things that are limited to be able to open up a lounge right next door to their current dispensary, but not everyone is going to be so lucky. Pot lounges are coming to the city of Las Vegas. I think it's dope. Philip Davis is pretty pumped about the lounges, which will allow cannabis users to bring their own product to a public space and smoke it. That rule passed Wednesday by Las Vegas City Council. You know, you will go into a bar, have a drink, so why not? go into a weed lounge and, and have a smoke and relax. But you won't find them just anywhere. The ordinance bans lounges within 1,000 feet of gaming businesses, schools, or churches. I'm kind of neutral about that. Brenda Gonzalez is co-owner of Sahara Wellness, and she plans to build a lounge right next door. We all went through this in the process with the dispensary. We all had to be so many feet from, from schools and churches and casinos. She says she plans to apply for a license as soon as possible while renovating the new lounge. And I hope we all do it correctly which I know we will, and make everybody proud. Gonzalez doesn't know exactly when she will open, but when she does, she's going to be trying to avoid one major problem, trying to keep people from driving away while high. I'll tell you about that coming up at 6 o'clock, but for now, Sean Delancey, 13 Action News. Sean, thank you. And to apply for a license to open a lounge, you will have to pay a $5,000 fee. For the first year, you will also have to have a license to operate a dispensary before you can open a lounge.